your problems may be great, but the tide of God's spirit is greater. And if you let it, it will lift you out of your troubles. In our topic today, God can lift you up, part 2, Mark 9.23 Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. That was Mark 9 verse 23. To access power, you have to get to the outlet and plug in to the source of it. That is what happens when you pray in faith based upon the will of God. You plug in to God's power as a gift of God. Picture a boat trapped in mud and stuck on the bottom. If you can get it to the dock, you can repair it and send it back to the sea. The trouble is, you can't move it. So what's the answer? Bring in high-powered tugboats, connect steel cables to the sunken boat, and wait for the tide to rise. Are you getting the idea? When you feel so low that you can't lift yourself up, tap into God's power and let Him lift you up to the place where He can repair, restore, and recommission you. If you keep that picture in mind, you will never think about prayer the same way again. Instead of seeing it as an obligation, you will start seeing it as an awesome power that works for you in all circumstances of life. Also, you will see reading the Bible in a different light as well. Paul says, So now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of His grace, which is able to build you up. Acts 20 verse 32 Your problems may be great, but the tide of God's Spirit is greater, and if you let it, it will lift you out of your troubles. Will they suddenly vanish overnight? No but you will be above them, looking down instead of underneath them, looking up. At that point, you will be operating from a position of faith instead of a position of fear. It can happen to you. God can lift you up. All things are possible to him who believes. Our meditation today is taken from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever will draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. For your Bible study, read Luke 14 verses 25 to 35, Genesis 26 and Psalm 19.